I can, what I can do is go ahead and teleport to the big city and show you guys some of the other stuff. So you can have up to three professions. Um, I, there's no first aid or fishing as far as I know. I could be wrong, guys. Remember, I haven't played this all that long. But I don't see that. You can choose three main professions. Uh, there's butchering, gathering, mining, smelting, armor crafting, weapons crafting, cloth crafting, which is one of my things. I can't what it's called. Outfitter, and then room crafter. So all in all, that's ended. a boatload of abilities. All threats are fleeting. Um, and no more Griffin flights in between points, or you know whatever the horde got, whatever those things are, because that this is instant, or it has to load the zone. Which I think it may break the experience a little bit, but it saves you a ton of time. And when I mean a ton of time. I'll show you how big this place is. If you guys thought WoW was big when it first came out, you need... I'll show you right now, actually, here. This is us. This is the Sanctum. So I'm going to show you comparative size. From there to there. There to there. And actually, there's another wall behind this here, and there's another wall behind that over there. So if you think another 20 feet that way and 20 feet that way... Okay? That's where we are right now. Let's zoom out. This is the entire first up to level 20 zone. That's right. That's freaking huge. This is the 20 zone. That's us on a tiny little island over here. Just imagine, if we want to fly from here, to let's say over here, which I've not even been to, just imagine how huge long that flight would take. It'd be like, you know, 15 minutes. And I have taken the flight for 15 minutes in WoW, and to be honest, most of the time when I was a student, I used that time to cook dinner. And when I mean dinner, I mean ramen. And when I mean ramen, I mean cooked noodles. With stuff I throw in there. Anyway. So, we're going to go on to the next thing, which is the bank and the auction house. Um, you have to have these in games. You just have to have them. I, I, I like. I prefer that to be server-wide and cross-faction. But I can understand why they don't do it. Bank, simple enough. Welcome to a banker. Welcome. You get your bank slots. You get additional slots. Each cost uh, more money. This one cost five uh, gold. If you're talking WoW terms, that's 5 silver, this one costs 30. Uh, note, I already have a boatload of crafting materials. I'm going to leave them in there just in case I get invited to be a 3 or something, or 4. Yeah, I'll be able to use them. I, I can't possibly make anything more useful out of it. Um, potions, here's something that you can use. Feel free. You can buy browse. your potions, you just need to be the right level. Um, that's really useful. Because, I mean, a potion in some other MMOs, both in uh, War and WoW, are hard to come by. And when you do, buying them is obviously not always preferred. This game, you don't get too penalized for them. But yet, it's still not like a Korean MMO where you have to spam your potion button every five seconds. Oh, and then it. the auction house. Um, wow. Very similar to WoW's. Auctions, these are still. I don't think current bid, I've got no idea. I think that needs to be improved if there's a high. Oh no, it tells you high bidder, it doesn't show you bids, I don't have any going. <coughs> Browse, I can search. Uh, and the first day of the beta was on like 15 items. More than understandable. Um, you can filter through chain, plate, I go by cloth. Uh, no variation in like your level but it does tell your level I think it'd be nice to once they add a couple of those things because it's very it's difficult not to have that in there to be honest because once you get to level 50 you don't want to be going through three or four pages of this stuff and go 
Uh, oh yeah, and like in WoW, greens, blues, purples, oranges for something which no one's ever gotten, you know, that kind of thing. The one thing that I have to fault them on, which I've already reported as a bug, or feature request I should say, is this. You see the search bar? In WoW, you will be able to click control and that creates an option which I don't want and you click on the name. This is great for saving time when you're in an auction house. And you don't have to type in some complicatedly long name which you don't understand how they made it there in the first place. So instead of having uncommon powder, you know, Bring you go, greetings ascended. Hmm. Powder. Oh wow, there it is. But now imagine there's 15 pages of powder when the game releases. And it's not only that you've got to type uncommon powder, you've got three pages of that. If you have the click ability, it makes life a whole lot simpler. Strike That's about the only thing like I can really fold them for at this point, you know, that I haven't perfectly made it. Uh, let's see. Ooh, character. Go through some basic stats. Uh, this is your character screen. Nice, simple, you can rotate your character. I turned on the resolution, so I think it looks quite a sharp as I'd like it. Stats. Gives you a good breakdown of what everything does once you hover over them. Your resistances, melee range, and spell power. Spell power works a little bit differently than it does in WoW, I think. Although I can't remember, because I haven't played it in such a while. Long time, but whatever. Skills. Um, tells you your proficiency and your professions. Uh, I guess more will be added on later. A uh, pet. So my pet, real quick. So look at the skeleton dude. It'll tell you all the information about your pet. Pop. Uh, so you get your life, strength. Uh, it also tells you your attack power, all that kind of jazz. And if you buff him, and see, that should have updated. Endurance. Oh, I did. Uh, let's see now. And then notoriety. Um, this is like factions. You know, you're. How friendly are you with these guys? So, Rift factions, Warfronts. I haven't done anything because they're disabled for this beta. So, that's well, that's alright. Now, what I'm gonna do is. Um, let's see if there's anything going on. I wanna show you guys a Rift that may be happening. walk over the bridge here and check something. Um, the rifts, as you saw in the beginning of the video, you start out, if you're lucky, to be honest, you get there when a rift starts and you work on it and da da da. The more damage and things you kill in a rift, the more points you get. And those points give you a better reward at the end. It's like those communal quests in a war. Same idea. I think I actually liked the communal quest in war a little bit better. Um, if it wasn't for the lack of population, I think they, they would have worked a lot better. Um, but here, in the beta, it's actually quite, I don't want to say prevalent, but it's actually quite useful just to go around rift hunting because if you do that, you actually get a lot of um, XP for it. Oh, and here's what I was talking about when I say my character is all about the dots. Let's see, one, two, three, four, five. Five dots. Dot, 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 dot. Obviously, lower level than me. Yeah, I know. Now, quickly jump over to something which is a higher level. Higher level. Uh, definitely not those guys. Hmm. There's a giant castle in the center of this thing, which doesn't make much sense to me, whatever. They're all heading over here. Anyway, let me uh, quickly turn this off and I'll get to a rift and show you guys what I mean, alright? I'll be right back. Alright, so we're back and I died. Um. 
Yeah, I was just walking over to show you guys a rift, obviously. Bad idea at times. Bad idea to help you guys out. This is how they deal with death. You can either respawn, which takes you to the nearest graveyard, and you can either choose to walk back to your corpse or get spawned at the healer there. Your soul potency goes down, which is your over stat percentage, I believe. I'm still not too sure how that works. Or you can soul walk. This is what I really like. This is what I think this game has done really well. Soul walk, spawn out of your body, you walk away, you have a timer. When that timer runs out, you resurrect wherever you are, and you're still in a good location, your previous location. It means you don't have to wander around, or you just try to get back to where you think you were. I think that's absolutely brilliant. Oh, here's the other thing I want to talk about before I totally forgot. I'm sorry. Uh, in WoW, you used to get necklaces, which you still get. But here's the thing. You get a, sig a sigil thingamajigger. Right click. You can open these up. Ouch. Ah, bad timing, bad timing. This is a... I was on the road, and that is a uh, major life invasion for us. I'm going to have to show you where you spawn now. Yay! <laughs> um, oopsie daisies. Anyway, in those... Take off my war. Yeah. Um, in those, you... Uh, <laughs> place Greetings. the items you want, we will from survive. those items you get stat bonuses. And those stat bonuses transfer into...